What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Ocarina of Time. I gotta say, I love this music. This is probably my favorite song in all of Zelda. I just love the morning song. It's so good. It's just so good. I'm pretty sure time doesn't pass when I have the start menu up, so we can listen to this for extra long. I've been listening to it as I've been like in between episodes 10 and 23. Yeah, pretty much. Whoa! Creep it. So creep it. Right. So if we jump down here. No, jump down here. Jump down. Yeah, you gotta be very careful here. Jump to the river. I think the farther back you are, the more rupees get out of this, so. Yeah, for some reason, there's just random rupees in here you get the longer you swim down. I don't freaking understand it. Does anyone really get it? I highly doubt it. If you get it, leave a comment down below. Oh, no, dang it. I didn't even swim this far. <laughs> Jump up here. Down the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. The dinosaur. The, the, the dinosaur. Right. See something about that? Nope. Nothing happened. <laughs> Oh my god. A large fat man is blocking our way. Hello, large fat man. And here's the milks of crates. This is Malin's father she was telling us about. And here's another unaccessible door that we can't even, like, if you can get the camera right, we can't even step up onto the ledge. So it's like, I don't know. Like, what? That's so weird to me. Hello, sir. That has a ponytail, a mullet, party in the back, business in the front. Z -z 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 -z. Welcome. My ranch is so fun. Come on, look around. Well, cock a doodle, motherfucker, do! Motherfucker! <laughs> what, tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? Oh my good lord. Hello, and wow, well, how, how might you be? I'm trying to be like, he's obviously supposed to be Mario, but I. How would you do a Mario hillbilly? Um. Hello, and what are you doing? Might to be, uh. I can't. <laughs> yep, I'm telling the owner of the Long Lawn Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to get some rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Mal's looking for me. I'm gonna catch him from her now. I messed up bad, leave Mal behind the way for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Right. Oh my good lord, Mario. Do a jump. You do a little jump on the sidewalk. Yeah, on the sidewalk. All right. Okay, happy times are over. Oh no, it's already night. Dang, the dawn comes. I mean, the sunset comes fast. So you're saying games like this? Like, look, I wish I could like go over this fence and see what's just beyond this hill. I know it's probably literally nothing. The vast space of empty space that no one programmed because there'd be no point. But I always feel like there'd be something really cool there. I used to be really into that. I'd play a game and then I'd look up like on YouTube, people hacking through this stuff. The most interesting one was probably Wind, uh, Windfall. <laughs> Wind Waker, because there's actually a whole bunch of really cool stuff on there. Did I not do that right? Oh no, don't you dare swim that far. Climb up, come up, and get down. Oh, I see. I need to get the other box too. I forgot. I forgot to tid. Look at that weird language. She looks, does not look highly and does it. It looks Japanese or something. Is Holly in its own unique language? I think it is, actually. I'm pretty dang sure it is, actually. But it looks like all these strangely similar to the Japanese for some reason. Hmm, I wonder why. It's almost like the Japanese made this game or something. Hmm, can I climb, please? Thank you. Right. Now jump and do a cool sword slash! There we go. I wonder if we can- wait, 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 No, 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 I'm holding back, but it was- I was gonna say if I could, like, shimmy around the edge or something. Whoa! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, this isn't what it looks like. Ah! Uh, I'm here to deliver your milk. Yeah, ah, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Seriously, how could they not see me? That's so weird, man. Am I doing something wrong here? Hello? Where am I? What the heck? Dude? What the heck? Can we go this way? Hello? I'm confused. Do I actually go this way? Did I do something wrong here? I don't get it! What are I those guards are supposed to be there? Oh, thankfully they only throw me out there. Cool, and I could totally see if I could shimmy along the edge, although it doesn't look like there's anything either way. Oops. <laughs> D 
say it, my cock doesn't do a thing! Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Screw it. No, don't dive. I was pressing A to swim faster like it is in, like, I don't know, other games. <laughs> to say every Zelda game, but I guess that's not true. Pretty sure that's what it is in Skyward Sword, though. Ah, oh, no! Stop it! Get up there. Is that the... Is that... I was gonna say the crow. Is that the chicken in... The cuckoo in my inventory that keeps crowing? Listen to that music. It's so good. I just love it, man. They're gone! Why? Is it because it was nighttime? Do I have to do this during the day? That's so weird. Ah. Uh, can we go, please? Thank you. Can't touch this. Can't see this. Da, 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 da. What is the point of these hedges? Could you seriously? What are you looking for, sir? There's nothing here. Look at that cool fountain. That is so cool. The coolest of all cool is actually. Oh, come on! I was like, wait, can he see me from here? They couldn't see me that far from before! Seriously, is this how this is gonna go? Is this seriously how this is gonna go over and over again? <laughs> well, at least I figured out the reason why I couldn't do anything before. I was really confused as to why, like, those guys were there at the nighttime. I mean, it makes sense, but I, it's like, I wouldn't think they would do that. Alright. We could actually go this way. Wee. Oh, great. Now I have to wait an hour and a half. Oh, no, no, no. You're gonna see me. Faux shizzle. Alright. See you guys in like an hour. One hour later. I'm gonna keep going before he turns around. Okay, great. We're fine. Phew. Okay, this always went. Uh, I kind of want to try it. I know a way you can do this. If I walk along this edge, but it's at such an awkward angle. It's like, I don't understand how people could do this. Am I gonna do it? Holy crap. No, oh, no! Oh my god, go, 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 go! Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. That was a bit of an over exaggeration. Well, not really, but I mean, I totally thought I was gonna get caught there. You wanna talk about this wall? Nope. <laughs> Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, you poop! Uh -huh. You can't see this! Da -na -na -na. I think I know something I think I'm oh no, this is bad. Um, go! Glad, glad they can't hear me screaming at the top of my lungs. Yeah! Is that really necessary, Link? I don't think so. Uh -huh. Keep walking, sir. This is the last round. Just look at that statue in the middle. It looks so cool. Oh my god. Hurry up! Why are you guys gonna stand still for so long? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh my good lord. We're at the end of the line. Oh my good lord. Holy crap. And we look at this window. And the window on the right we see. Maybe. Yosters in Peach Beach. Peach Beach and Mario 64 Mario 64 Mario Mario 64 and like, that's probably Luigi but he's obstructed so who cares about him oh you got a red ruby from that cool I did not know what happened from that I do know what happens when you hit this window though Can we see anything from here no so there's only an Easter egg in that one well that's not true because hit that hey you don't cause any trouble Oh no, we didn't get to see him though. Where's the bomb? Where's the bomb? There it is. Let's see if we can see him better from here. Oops. Oh no! We can't do it again! That's the saddest thing ever! A guard pops around the corner of the window and that, that's what he says. Hey you, don't cause any trouble. And he throws a bomb at me. And that's it! Okay, let's go see the princess. Oh great, what voice am I going to give her? Hello? I brought you a cock. Take it! Take my cock! Okay, I'm sure that joke's been made a million times as well. <gasps> oh my titties! Who? That's right, I am Doctor Who. Who are you? That's not gonna be your voice. How'd you get past the guards? How'd you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Ah, is that? A fairy? Then are you? Are you from the forest? Then, then, you wouldn't have to be 
have, I mean, not be, not, but have the spirit of stone of the force, would you? The green shining stone of penises. Uh, come on, I'm, I'm hitting a new low. Uh, no. Well, that's odd. <laughs> I thought you might be the one for my dream, but truth, tell me the truth. Do you have it? Okay, fine, I have it. Just as I thought. Oh, you are a little bit too happy, little woman. I had a dream. A dream that black men would be equal. The dark storm that was supposed to be a Martin King Luther Jr. joke, but, you know. The clouds were billowing over Hyrule, but suddenly a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. That is really abstract, actually. Uh, the light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone followed by a fairy. With brain damage, probably, from hitting her head on a fence. Uh, I know this is th that this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one named Sailor Moon. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda. Sometimes I randomly sing, Ma, 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 what is your name? I also have a British accent, but not when I sing. Hmm, Link? Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Cause I am a chain link. Fence. Okay then, Link. I'm gonna tell you the secret of the secret realm that has passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. No. Mm. <laughs> Come on, don't be a blabber mouth. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay, she's gonna repeat her text, so I'm not gonna even bother saying no again. The legend goes like this. Goes a little something like this. Oh my god, why am I in the sky for? No! Ooh, yeah, is this the same cutscene that we already saw? The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of gods somewhere in Hyrule. Yep, I think we already knew this actually. The power to grant wishes to one holds Triforce in his hands. Did I miss a line? I looked down for a brief moment. Uh, if someone with a righteous heart makes wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If they make like a neutral wish, like, I wish for a pair of underwear! If someone with an evil mind has uh, his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what is told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. The e evil ones. Yes. I can't believe this crap. That's right! The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world! But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. In order to open the door, you have to grab, give it a rose. You see, that's why we're in this thing. Okay, you actually have to collect the three spiritual stones. Another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with the legend. The Ocarina of Time! <gasps> This was Cinema Sins. They would sin it for saying the title of the movie. Did you understand the story I just told you? No, I'm not gonna rewatch really that cutscene. Never mind. That's great. I've got to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds. I believe they symbolize the man in the hair. That's racist. Will you look through the window at him? I'm scared. Please, if you don't hurry, I'm glad he'll be gone. I'm glad they're actually making me do that. If I pressed no and I skipped that cutscene, I would have been kind of mad. <laughs> hey, there's another window up there. I wonder if we can hit that with a slingshot. It's the real Zelda! Can you see the man with evil eyes? You mean the ones without eyes standing to the right and left of Zelda? I must call him Ganondorf. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, the leader from the Gerudos, the hail from the desert far in the west. I said direct west or something. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he's not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. How do you... What? Or it could just symbolize rainstorm. What happened? Did he see you? Yeah, we should probably duck, actually. Do not worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. But when he does for you, I'm sure he's going to slaughter me. Uh, yes. I told my father about my dream, and he laughed at me. However, he didn't believe it. It was a prophecy. But... I could sense that man's evil intentions. What Gandorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realms, of the Scared Realms. I've told this story before, 
Uh, he must come to Hyrule to obtain. I used to live in a small town. Wherever we take the drive to a town next over, or the bigger city next over, and he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. There was a sign with a nun on it said, that said "Life is sacred," but I always misread it as "Life is scared," and I was always really confused, especially because the look on the nun she did look scared. So, <laughs> Link, there we all the ones uh, who could protect how only ones who could protect Hyrule. Please, I don't believe you. I'm an asshole. She's so sad. Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. Please. Okay. So happy. Thank you. Really badly pixelated flowers. I, I'm i afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy her. How do you... What? He has terrifying power. No, he doesn't. Uh, but it's fortunate that he have come. How could you know he has terrifying power? If he was smart, he would never show that power. We must not let Gandalf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. Which is probably not much, considering you're a small girl, frail girl, in fact. Especially because you're a princess. I'm sure you have never seen anything dangerous in your life. Uh, you have to go find the other two spirit stones. Let's get the Triforce before Gandalf drives and then defeat him! One more thing. I can't believe she's going with all this by a dream. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. He receives Zelda's letter! I don't remember what this is for. Wow, the letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Okay, I'm sure it does. What does it say, though? This looks like a little envelope, or not, like a little gift card. <laughs> like, greetings from Zelda! That's all it says. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Ah! Where'd she come from? Can we hit that window? What happens if we hit that window? Not a thing. And there's no bomb. I think we hit it enough times. Something happens again, doesn't it? Let's, let's try to keep hitting it and see if we can see the dude again. Nope. I thought at least when you'd hit it again, another bomb would come up, but apparently not. Oh boy. Oh my good lord. She's gonna have a Dutch accent. I am Impel of the Sheikas. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exact. That's that's Austrian, is that? That's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I can't say his name. <laughs> Everything is exactly as the princess were told. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure. I crush you between my thighs. She reminds me of um. Oh, what's her name? The motherfucker? No, 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 not the motherfucker. Mother Russia from Kickass Two. My role in the princess dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Zelda, Princess Zelda and the lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Oh my good lord. Holy crap. What the poop. Yeah, so the famous Zelda's lullaby, that's not that famous, but it actually is, like, the most well-known- Whoa! Booby cleavage of Arnold Schwarzenegger! All right! <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, no more Arnold for me. Yay. Beautiful, symbolic lullaby. La 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 la. You can see Zelda in the background just collapse and immediately fall asleep. That'd be amazing. I wish that was a thing. Look at Link, he's so like confused, like, why is this thing sparkling? Or does Luca Jim say, Jizz! But it's not really, and I've always found that was kind of a stretch and really silly. And by kind of a stretch, I mean really. <laughs> if the castle soldiers find me, or find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Alright, you're gonna have to throw me out like the guards and just like, make it all, or make it not look like I was doing something stupid. I don't know. You brave lad! You must protect the beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good gander at that mountain. It is Death Mountain, home of the Golans. They heard this beautiful stone of fire. My voice hurts so much right now, guys. <laughs> at the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. There is where I was born and raised. On the playgrounds where I spent most money. You should talk to some of the villages before you go up to Death Mountain. That song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only the royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help you to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we'll count on you. 
I went a bit British, I think. Whoa, did you see her arm? It went all like wonky there for a second. It was like rubber. She was like a rubber woman. It was beautiful, actually. I kind of fell in love, actually. I want, I want to be crushed in between her thighs. Wait, what? Anyways! Yeah, that's a good place to end. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a blue box already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we might head towards Kakarika Village. I mean, it's a really long walk. Just kidding. It takes like a minute. <laughs> or we might go visit Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, Lon Lon Ranch is that way. That's that rock in the distance. Uh, I'm gonna actually take a look at what we can and cannot do right now. Maybe we'll do well. Then again, we did just spend an entire episode, not like the episode before this, we did spend it like going through all the freaking villager text. And I kind of don't want to do too many of those in a row, so maybe we'll dedicate next episode to actually making some progress. Well, then again, we did make progress in this episode, so I don't know. I'm debating my with myself. I will decide off screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel like likes from already. Wait a minute, can we do this? I'm curious. Alright, I knew we could climb up this chain, but when it turns night, this thing goes up. What happens if I stand here? Hello? Am I gonna die? <laughs> I might die here. Whee! Oh, cool. We can access Hyrule at night. My question is, how the heck do we get out once we do this? I did not know we could access this. Kids should be walking around town at nighttime, stay indoors until morning. Yeah, except morning will never come. Well, this is kind of a pity, actually. I gotta make it daytime again. So, in the next episode, maybe we'll actually just see what Hyrule Town looks like. Well, nah, we won't. We'll do that later. We don't really have a need to do that right now. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.